Let's get more now on our main story, the extraordinary heat wave. It's not just the UK experiencing ex exceptional hot weather. Temperatures are soaring in many parts of the world. In a moment, we'll take a look at how hot weather is affecting people in the United States and in Sweden. But first, we report from the Japanese capital, Tokyo. It has been a truly unprecedented month for weather here in Japan. It began with a week of record rainfall that caused devastating floods in the west of the country. And that has been followed by two weeks of extreme heat that again has broken all records. A new absolute high of 41.1 degrees was set on Monday and the one week record has also been broken. And this has caused a really shocking loss of life. All up the floods and the heat have now taken at least 300 lives and more than 30,000 people have been sent to hospital. Here in North Texas, we have been dealing with a heat wave for almost two weeks now. We've had 10 days of 100 degrees all the way up to 109. Numerous records have been broken. And in addition to that, conditions are extremely dry. Moderate to severe drought continues across the Dallas Fort Worth region. But good news, some needed rainfall is in the forecast next week, as well as some cooler temperatures. We might even be below average. Stockholm's usually one of the most visibly green cities in Europe. About 40% of it's made up of parks, but a lot of it is now yellow and crispy after the hottest July since records began. Sweden simply isn't set up for high temperatures. The buildings are designed to insulate, keep people warm in the snowy winters. Very few offices have air conditioning. But it's the countryside that's been worst affected. The worst wildfires for decades are still being tackled by firefighters from around the EU after Sweden called for international assistance. And more hot weather's on the way in the coming week. So, is our planet getting hotter, and if so, why? More and more scientists are now saying there's a closer link between carbon emissions and rising temperatures around the world. Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. The last time it was so hot in Britain for so long was during the long summer of 1976. The country went wild, and ABBA was in the charts. There were droughts, thousands had their water cut off, and people had to collect their supplies in buckets from standpipes. This was the temperature map at the time, the heat wave in red, localised to parts of Europe, the US and Russia. Now look at this year. It's all across the Northern Hemisphere, where it's summer. Scientists have been studying whether there's a link to climate change. They feel that they now have the answer. Absolutely yes. Perhaps, you know, 15, 20 years ago we would have said, well, it's possible, but we really can't say whether a particular weather event can be ascribed to climate change. Now it's becoming much clearer that we can, with quite a lot of confidence, say that something like an extreme weather event is linked to climate change, or at least it would be very unlikely to have happened without climate change. This is how the average June afternoon temperatures have been rising in Britain since 1900 and the trend is likely to continue according to computer modelling. For decades, scientists have predicted that heat waves like the one we're having will become more commonplace. It seems that that's now happening according to their research and their projections indicate that they'll last longer, become hotter and occur more often. In recent years, there have been forest fires in California and in southern Australia, which has suffered its worst heat wave in a hundred years. Researchers at Oxford University have been assessing the impact climate change has had in Europe. We have a, a very strong increase in heat waves in the Mediterranean. It's not that strong in northern Europe, but there also is an increase. Um, and, and last year we, we looked at heat waves in June and found there was a four times increase in Belgium and the Netherlands. For many, the crazy summer of 76 is a fond memory from a bygone age. But climate scientists believe that these conditions are likely to become the norm rather than the exception. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. Well, let's get more on that breaking story.